Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Rodeo Time, the podcast. Uh, it's 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 a Monday. It's a Monday here in the Dale Warehouse. We're chopping it up. We're, uh, we 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 uh, have a very special guest coming to this podcast. Bronk Johnson will be here later, um, and uh, yeah, we're going to talk to him. So, anyhow, um, you needed to go. You got to go, right? Yeah, Carson. I gotta, yeah, Carson's got to go. I got to go. So, um, but yeah, tell some great stories, some few. updates on some of the interns. And um, and and it's just a really good podcast. It is. So it, it, we appreciate you tuning in. Appreciate you listening to the stories. Talk about some previous interns. We tell a few recent stories, but uh, but yeah, Bronk is our our guest, and we get to hear from him early on. So just want to share with you guys. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in the apparel, DaleBrisby dot com is where you can get it. It's uh, it's we've got new shirts, we've got new styles, new caps. I've got two guys right now working on graphics for the next round, so check it out. Also, don't forget to text me nine four zero three five three zero eight nine zero. Text me the word podcast. Text me the word special offer if you want to be included on um, deals you can feels for the website. That's where I tell people first is is uh, dalebrisby dot com. So. Um, Thank you so much, and uh, now on to the podcast, right? Yep. yep. Is that any, anything else in the intro? Uh, no. Uh, your sponsors. <laughs> American Hat, Rock and Roll Denim, Can-Am, and Total Feeds. That's right. If you don't wear those things, use those things, and feed those things, then you ain't no cowboy. Right? I, yeah, I hope so. Right. Rodeo time in the house. <laughs> Tip your hat back there, Bronk, so the people can see who it is. Bronk Johnson. Get that microphone down. We want to see that that mug of yours. <laughs> you look would, at, huh? Look at that stash. Dang. Look like an outlaw. Because <laughs> I am. <laughs> Seven-inch crown, three-inch brim. That way you can be... All right, guys. I'm going to try to explain <laughs> <laughs> what's going on here for the for the listeners who aren't viewing. We've got in the studio from your right to left Cole Snyder, Bronk Johnson, Willie Wardle, Dale Brisby. Now Bronk has on like a Garth Brooks brush popper, brush popper ish shirt, um, a vest. Looks right out of the DB playbook with um, a, a Copenhagen skull, whatever kind of can in the top. He's got a um, Pedro from Napoleon Dynamite mustache, <laughs> a huge nose, um, like some, like looks like a baby, brown eyes, like like, a, <laughs> like, like very innocent. He's got innocent brown eyes. Oh, those things aren't innocent. <laughs> kind of a, a darker, complected, like he was born with a tan kind of kid, you know? Like he doesn't look tan. He just looks like he was born with a tan. <laughs> kind of like Leroy. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, kind of right, like Leroy. Yeah, yeah. Leroy's, yeah. Got, <laughs> Leroy's always been a little darker complected than I was. And last but not least, he's got a 10-inch crown. I'm sorry, 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 sorry. 7-inch crown, cable head. Get it right. With a three inch brim, you should get a hat with a ten inch crown, though. Does the three inch uh, brim? Does that now standard cowboy hats come with a four inch brim? Over the last several years, a lot of the stores have transitioned to four and a quarter, right? Which I'm not a fan of, but the three inch. <laughs> normally, you see you see Dale Brisby in a three and three quarter, but um, American Hat made this one especially for Bronk three inch brim. Explain the three inch brim. What? Why is that? Uh, it's more aerodynamic when I'm spurring down on bareback horses. Okay. That is that. There's a there's a picture, very famous <laughs> yeah. picture behind Bronk. Um, it's actually in Tucson. No. Oh. Oh, it's not. <laughs> no, it looks like Prescott. <laughs> I was there. <laughs> so so okay. So you tell us about this picture. I was in Calgary. Calgary. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What? 
I don't recognize the stands or the fence. No, Must have been those little rig and rally you know, deal we had up there back in the day. Oh, yeah. How many points was you on that bronc? Ninety-one. Ninety-one. Wow. Forty-five. Forty-five. Ninety-one points. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, what was that horse's name? <laughs> I think that was Baloney Boudreau. <laughs> Um, if I'm not mistaken. Tell us the tell us the Bronk Johnson story. Where'd you come from, Bronk? Oh, north, up north. Where are you headed? South, south. <laughs> mm. Okay. What are you best known for up north? Man, spurring down on bareback horses. Yep. What would be yeah. second? A mustache. Yep. Stellar. Yeah. Got straight white teeth. Yeah. All the women I get. Okay. The heck of a life, bro. <laughs> the heck of a life, bro. <laughs> What's the third thing you're known for, bro? <clears throat> Why do you ask so many questions? Because we're on a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> supposed to be supposed to be talking. Yeah, or, yeah. or, or I mean, you 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 tell us. I mean, what you want to talk about? What are you, you known to... for? I'm known D- for riding Dale? bulls, punching fools. Oh, and I've yeah. already I've already ridden my bull today. Oh, okay. So, so you be careful, bro, right. Johnson. You want to meet me in the round pen? Go ahead. Is that where it's going yeah. now? Hey, <laughs> easy there. What do you call it? Slug wrestling? Never heard of it. Oh, no, that's right. That's 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 one of the other interns. Apparently, there's a slug wrestling challenge going on, which slug wrestling isn't like normal wrestling. In slug wrestling, you tie your hands behind your back and you oil yourself up. Okay. I don't see the point of it. What kind of things are you talking about? <laughs> I'm not the one bringing You're this disgusting. up. That's the national sport of Bulgaria. Is that where you're from? No. Oh. Bulgaria is not north, Cole. It's north of here. Idiot. North what? East. So <laughs> stupid. <laughs> what, uh, what, what, what's your intentions? Why are you here? Here? If you're from up north and you're headed south, what brings you to Winnebago? Heard y'all had a paint horse. Yeah. We do have a paint horse. Yep. What you want to do to him? Man, I want to run that thing in there. Show him whose hog eats cabbage. Okay. And uh, on a bear with a bareback rigging, I suppose. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, Dale. Yeah, Dale. <laughs> um, man, Bronk, you're aggressive. You want to be the best? You got to be. Yeah. It's a good thing you're not a bull rider, old son. Why is that? Because number one title is taken there, old son. <laughs> you don't want to go head to head with Dale Brisby. Oh yeah, yeah. And you better be glad I don't ride bareback horses. I heard you were afraid of bareback horses. Oh, did you? Yeah. Where'd you hear that? <laughs> I probably shouldn't say. <clears throat> shouldn't say here. You can't think of anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was on a date with your mom the other night. Oh. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. What'd she she might have mentioned it. She mentioned it. Yeah, yeah. My Dor- son's a. <laughs> <laughs> she just randomly said, <laughs> "My son is the greatest boy well, of all time, no. but he's afraid of bareback." Horses. We were talking about you, and she said something about you want my autograph or something. I don't know which I would do for you if you want. So it, kind. It, okay. Yeah. You are so kind. And I was talking about getting you on a bareback horse, maybe. Helping her son out, yeah, kind of. What do you sincerely like? Do you sincerely want to help me, or are you just trying to score points with my mom? That don't matter, buddy. It doesn't matter. <laughs> no, I mean she ain't here. She probably don't listen to the podcast. So you tell me. You really want to help me and strike up a friendship, or are you I, just trying to score points with my mom? I just if, thought if of you, a great you, thumbnail for this though. <laughs> <laughs> Dale's, Dale's mom's good boyfriend. <laughs> What's that? What's oh? You don't have an answer. It's just about my mom, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, if, I'm not. If you want to, I, I did just get rid of all my traveling partners. I'm sure you understand. Yep. Inflation, obviously. Right. So what does that have to do with? <laughs> <laughs> you say you got rid of them because of inflation. Yeah, I left them in Tucson. 
Because the price of gas was too high, you didn't want to split it? Man, inflation. <laughs> ah, Everything going up, going down. We can't get any exports in. Supply chain issues. Cole, you wouldn't know anything about it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How long you known Willie here? I heard you're crashing on his couch. Yeah. I met him a couple weeks back. Tried to sell me rosin. I don't think he knew who I was. What you is... You don't need rosin? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> you don't even use a glove, probably. No. You bare hand that bareback rig. Yeah. It's called bareback for a reason. Well, it's not called bare hand. <laughs> <laughs> Cole, do you have that, anything you want to add? No, the, I'm just letting him just letting him go. To, just letting him go to it. You can learn something from anybody. You know what not to do. <clears throat> Cole used to ride bareback courses. You got any tips for him? Oh yeah. He doesn't look like he really has it in him. I, I don't. It doesn't really matter what I say. I gotcha. Just wasted you, breath. Yeah. Just, <laughs> you can just tell. You can just tell when you look in a man's eyes whether or not they... <laughs> if he's going to ride bareback horses or not. <laughs> I'm sure you can ride them, but... Well? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you got me there. Just To be the best, that's another look in a man's eyes. Right, yeah. Anybody... Not everybody can be the best, but the best can come from everywhere. Anywhere. Stole that from Ratatouille. <laughs> <laughs> Would you have you seen Ratatouille? Um, yeah, Bronk. You I have. have. You ever seen yeah. Megamind? Megamind? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen it. Hated it. Okay. Now you're just trying to hurt my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> you go on the mob. You diss on my favorite cartoons. <laughs> I had enough of this. Um, what 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 what's your uh, what's your plans this weekend, Bronk? Man, I was thinking about getting on a practice steer. Oh, yeah? Mm. Practice steer? Yeah. To do what? For, to a steer? You're going to put a bareback riding on a, a bareback rig yeah, on a steer? Little little trick I learned. Um. <clears throat> so, so you're a fan of the show Yellowstone? No. You're not? Wow. Bold statement from Bronk Johnson. Why is that? Because they didn't cast you? Well, they offered. Okay, but, of course. But they gave the part to Jimmy. That upset you? No. They wanted me to be John. Dutton? Mm. Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> he said okay. we'll come back to we'll <laughs> come right. back to Braun. It's been a good it's been a good couple of weeks here at the ranch. We've had a lot going on. Uh we we uh we went to a couple booths. We've been bucking stock around the clock. Bucked a lot of practice bulls, bucked a lot of broncs, went to California, Sacramento, the uh, California FFA con state convention. Six days we were up there. Uh, it was a good quick trip. Bronk didn't go. His uh, friend Carson did. Boy, that Carson's a that's a piece of work, isn't he? Yeah. Handsome, though. <laughs> Is he? <laughs> yeah. Is he? Um, one, of the only, one of the only healthy bull riders we got left. Yes. Right now. <laughs> yeah. is, is Carson getting on anytime soon? Yeah, I think he is. Is he getting on today? Maybe. Okay. Maybe Are you getting to on him. today? No, no. Not enough no. added? Not enough added. That paint horse is limping around. I I want him to be 100% when I, got I get you. on him. I don't want him to have any excuses. Never. I got you. No, he's never taken a lame step. Yeah. <laughs> he'll, he'll, he'll look fine today. <laughs> look fine this morning. Are we talking about the same horse? Of of all the paint horses we have, yeah, I'm pretty sure. When were you out, out there? there? This morning. Oh, I just, I was just out there. <laughs> <laughs> we did have. Speaking of horses, we did have Dollar get bit twice. Yeah, by a rattlesnake. So maybe the same rattlesnake, maybe not. But we got to do some rattlesnake hunting. It. We finally got a rain yesterday, a couple of inches. So it's going to be hard to do rattlesnake hunting with. Uh, I don't know. I'm sure they would have moved around a little bit. I don't know much about snakes, but I'm pretty sure they don't like water. Well, where I th where I was planning on going to look, there was uh, there's now a ton of water. Ah. But I feel like anyway, whatever. I've got some theories on where they might be. Um, yeah, Carlos broke his leg. Sad day. Yeah, he was getting on a couple of bulls. 
He had one that uh, did not go his way. I believe he got on uh, Pet, maybe. No, no, no. He got on what? What's that? An, that nine twenty seven. What do y'all yeah, call that? Tony's one? brother. Tony's, Tony's brother. brother. <laughs> That's not what you call him. What does Joe call him? I can't remember what she calls him. Anyways, Tony's brother did, got got dumped a little early, so he wanted to get on Prison Mike, and um, came down. And as he was flying through the air, Prison Mike, like right as his foot was touching the ground, Prison Mike's back legs hit the um, about mid mid calf. And Just. you could tell, like it, it, he he had no time to get out of the way because it was like it was before he was completely even on the ground. Like he didn't have time to you know watching the video. Like just planted his foot. Yeah, and right then when it, and then Prison it was almost like they were coming down together. Yeah, and uh, so anyways, he knew he was hurt immediately. I knew he was hurt because I saw it. Everybody was uh, Cole ran in and told him he's not hurt. No, what I said was, you're okay, you're okay. And then every, then Carlos goes, I'm not okay. And Leroy's right behind me. He's not okay, man. <laughs> but what you meant was, you're going to be okay. I'm, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. You're not in you're, present danger. Right. Like, <laughs> yeah, because prison Mike's not mean. And even if they had to amputate it below the knee, right, you would still have. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna live you're through You still this. live in Rod Bulls. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so anyway. Um, I appreciate you being it like was, that cool. <laughs> that would make me feel a lot better. <laughs> With his pants and boot on, it was visually broken. Yeah. Oh, yeah. His dangler. leg visually took a turn. Yeah. It was a dangler. It was a dangler. Um, so we put him in the backseat of the truck, immediately went to Wichita Falls, closest big hospital, and, um, yeah, went into the emergency room. I think the nurse there, or the, the receptionist, not the nurse, the receptionist forgot that it was an emergency room. She just thought it was a normal room. Um, so I tried to remind her, which I think slowed the process yeah. even more. But um, same thing happened with my collarbone when I went to that same emergency room. Yeah. It's really just the staff outside. Once you get inside, everything's fine. But, man. I had just, to check to make sure we were in the correct yeah. wing. Like Cole, I, yeah. Cole walked back and looked up above for the signs and yes we were in fact in the emergency room. <laughs> yeah they they gave us did we did they give us a wheelchair or did carlos just find one well no i went in and said hey this guy's right we've got a broken leg here pretty bad broken leg he's like okay i'll go get you a wheelchair and then like minutes went by and nobody showed up so we just carried him in yeah that's frustrating yeah and then we get back there in the back and um this nurse Male nurse just goes to like take his boot off normal as if he were taking his boots off at the end of the day. <laughs> Got to get rid of this. He's facing. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to need that out of the way. <laughs> so he's facing Carlos and he reaches down and puts his right hand on the heel. So like reaches back behind the boot to the heel. And I said, whoa, sir, you know, please. <laughs> and um, I, I owe him a pair of boots, by the way. But I told him, I was like, Carlos, I will get you a pair of boots. And I cut his boot off, yeah. you know. Turns out it was broken at the shin and at the ankle. And at the ankle. So that would so, have been a freaking yeah. Uh, it was about terrible. to be a excruciating pain <laughs> for no reason. Right. For <laughs> no reason. You know. Just because this nurse is just ah, oh, this is easy. Yeah. Two hundred dollar pair of boots. Yeah. You know, um, which is a lot of money. However, you know, we'll yeah we'll do a right collection. We'll we'll pass the plate around or something we'll get the guy some pair, some boots anyway so uh i cut the boot off and yeah everything went great from there except kevin brought us dinner and i said this is where the night took a turn here's where the story, this is where yeah. the night took a i turn. don't think it was quite as bad we brought back kevin said i said where y'all going he said chipotle i said great i love chipotle i love everything about chipotle he didn't get rice did he except their rice. It's like little bitty white rice. Yeah, it's awful. Thank you, Bronk. The one thing we might agree on. <laughs> and uh, I was like, man, I'd love a burrito. Each ingredient had its own text bubble. And I put all caps, no rice. What does he get? Rice. Extra rice. Little bitty white rocks scattered throughout my burrito. I swear. What? Dude, Chipotle rice sucks. Mine tasted fine. What would you have done? You had the you had the dirty rice, the the yeah. cilantro with the other one, which that day there happened to be fine. <laughs> yeah, yours tasted fine. 
Anyway, we made up for it. So, so Kevin and I get in a fight, (laughs) and I I submit him. We get I get him down on the ground, and he apologizes. I take the burrito. No, just one hand, just down, pressing it down on the asphalt. I take with the other hand, my free hand. I take the burrito and pour the rice into his mouth. Yeah, as he's you know he doesn't have oxygen now. He's also got rocks in his. I like your style, Dale Brisby. Yeah, buddy. So he won't do that again. Um, I think I I I dislike mustard on my cheeseburger as much as I dislike the rice from Chipotle. Dang, yeah, those two things. And yeah, I would have never thought you were so picky with food, man. Just those two things, really. Yeah. Well, I guess that's not very picky. Have you either. ever had like chewy rice, like like the rock, like rock, like rock? You don't rice? know what I'm talking about. Like Im- imagine raw rice. It's like when it's not cooked, right? Just like chewing on it. Yeah. Doesn't sound very good, huh? I, I probably wouldn't order it, but okay. Well, and now again, neither did you. Now put it, <laughs> now put it in a delicious burrito, but scatter the rocks throughout the burrito. I yeah, I, I don't know. I See guess it? it just depends on how hungry you are. I was that that's that's as, why I was so mad because hung, I was so hungry. As hungry as you were, I thought you wouldn't have cared what we brought you. We could have brought brought you a couple of Doritos Locos tacos, and you'd have just. Okay, those are amazing. Yeah, those yeah, are pretty what, good. What are you that, that's a pretty bad example. Yeah. Oh, okay. You don't like Doritos Locos Tacos? What's not particularly, no. What are you talking about? I don't really like them all that much. You're I, a crazy person. I, don't I can see it in your eyes now. Yeah. I, I see I what kinda, you're talking about. Everybody I, knows. Hey, after this, after this, let's all go to a Taco Bell mm-hmm. without coal <laughs> yep. and get some Doritos Locos Tacos. I like tacos. it. No matter like how this style. turns out, we should go and grab some. You know what's great about those tacos, though? They don't have white rice in them. Mm. That has rocks. It's like every fifth kernel of rice, grain of rice, at Chipotle is is like rock hard. So, do you like rice at other restaurants, or is it just? Yeah, the ones that cook it correctly, like Fuzzies. I don't get rice on anything at Fuzzies. Mm. I still haven't been to one yet. I keep hearing about them. Yeah, California Heat. It's a good burrito. I mean, yeah. good taco. So anyway, yeah, that's how our evening ended. Oh yeah, and then Carlos turns out he's okay. He had to have a couple surgeries, whatever. Yep. Um, Kevin broke his. <laughs> <kid. Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but the real. <laughs> but I got rice on my burrito. Uh, Kevin also broke his collarbone. Uh, or did he break it broke, again? Or? I think it's just still broke. It's still, right, still broke. Maybe I don't, I don't know. know. It's refractured outside yeah, of the. Kevin sleeve. is having a time, Heck of a time with that collarbone. But he had a good day yesterday. Doing what? Oh, yeah. He got his first turkey. Yeah. Shout out to little Kev. Little You're a big buddy. turkey hunter, aren't you, Bronk? He's like a normal-sized turkey hunter. No. Bronk's not. Oh, Carson. I care for it. Carson. Yeah. You're, Carson. You're confusing yeah, Bronk yeah. for another they look, guy. They look similar, but I can, when you really look at them, then you can be like, yeah. Carson's going to miss um, ranching for turkey hunting. That's how big of a fan Carson is of turkey hunting. Really? Dang. Yeah. What no do you have to say to that, bro? Didn't, didn't know that. <laughs> he ain't no cowboy? He ain't no... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> those words just don't taste good. <laughs> I don't like how you said that. Um, I appreciate his enthusiasm, his, his passion. Yeah, yeah, for putting food on the table. Yeah, he's just, he's a killer, kind of like me. Okay. <laughs> what did you think of Cotton Fest, bro? Man... It was okay. I didn't know you were there, Bronk. I was there. In the crowd. I was VIP. We just got back from <laughs> back Cotton Fest. The whole time. Um, William Clark Green puts it on. Roger Craiger played. Who played Friday night after Roger Craiger? Or did he? Randall King. Randall King. Josh Weathers. Josh Weathers, yeah. not John, John, Weathers, John Weathers, as I introduced him on stage. That's John. <laughs> In my defense, I had just met him. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Ross Cooper played Giovanni and the Hired Guns, and then Will played the Saturday night uh, show. But, um, yeah, then Willie almost got in a fight. Oh, yeah. Really? Do tell. Yeah. So there were shirts falling. There was pretty bad win in Lubbock, for the people that don't know. On Friday, it was real bad. Really bad. That's why my voice sounds like this. I've got like an inch of dirt inside of my lungs right right now. Anyways. Just Lil Willie minding his business, trying to be a good employee, and there's shirts that are falling out of the back. We were lined up against a fence. Like, this is the fence. Yeah. Our booth is right here. So the shirts were flying over the rack, yeah. going over the other side. 
So I started climbing over the fence. Well, somebody somebody handed us a couple shirts and said, hey, you know, some people were trying to steal these off the back of your... So I was like, oh, we better make sure there's not any easy targets hanging out. Yeah. And you're not going to sit there and like mosey around to go and fix this problem. That's kind of like some instant. Yeah. So I just hopped the fence real quick. And this tool... Can I say that on yeah. here? Oh, yeah. That's what he wants. <laughs> this tool comes up, like, Ocknall, Big, and Mancha with, like, oh, three man. cops behind him. Like, dude, get off my bleeping fence. Like, who, what do you think you're doing? And I was like, I work here. <laughs> uh, see the past? <laughs> see, I, I work here. I'm just putting this yeah. these shirts back up on here. And I don't know if he was already drunk or what was going on with him or he just – doesn't have a lot of friends was trying to prove something, but the cops were super nice. The cops are super yeah. cool, but this guy was just going was out weird. of his way to be an a hole, like yelling at me. Right. He he just obviously worked there. Yeah. And but the cops like for some reason had his back and and then he saw me. Yeah, then and then, came over then he and saw tried Dale. to fist bump me. He was like, Hey, I wasn't yelling at him. It's just loud. And so I was like raising my voice so he could hear. I was like, I said, No, you weren't. You were you, <laughs> you were, were absolutely yell. yelling. <laughs> hey, I know I really sounded like a jerk back there, but that was totally totally yeah, it was just I just wanted him to hear me. <laughs> no. I'm not gonna fist bump you. You were absolutely yelling at him for no reason. Like, look at Willie. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like he climbed the fence and took off running. You know what I'm saying? Like, I climbed the fence and then started putting shirts in. He climbs the fence and then looks up and starts tucking shirts into this booth. You know, obviously he's doing something. You could just walk up. It's it's okay to even tell him, let him know that he broke the rules. Like, just but be like the cops. Like, hey, sir, uh, man, you can't climb the fence. You got He had a good around. point. He's like, if the drunk people start seeing that, they'll do that. Right. I would have listened. But just it. say it like that. But he started screaming at me about dude, it. Dude, this and dude I, was being loud. And at first, yeah. I was like, I responded to Like, I got with I was like, what are you talking about, dude? I wanted to be like, you're not, you're not Trevor Cook. This isn't your fence. <laughs> <laughs> He's lucky. <laughs> Excuse me? I'm so glad Leroy wasn't over there. Yeah. He's lucky Big Daddy Bronk wasn't got, over there. Hey. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I did Apparently. Get, I did get kind of upset. When I get mad, I normally just shut down and not say anything. Yeah. See, but he was just, absolutely yeah. over the top because he had three cops with him. I just feel yeah. like if you want someone to be in charge of your security and, like, squashing fires, you shouldn't have someone that, like, instantly starts a fire. <laughs> Throwing matches <laughs> like, everywhere you go. Yeah. I didn't have any alcohol in me or anything like that. So, like. Yeah, it was a pretty calm. I was pretty. <laughs> but, like, imagine. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> sober, calm. Willie, <laughs> like, but like doing 145 his job, yeah, right. pounds. I was still like, irritated. Looking up, like, <laughs> how am I gonna fix this? And then some. This yeah, big dude comes over like he, like this Joker, like pulled a gun on somebody. <laughs> <laughs> but like, imagine some big old guy that has like. 15 beers down already, and he's coming up like that. I was like, man, I don't know if this should be the guy in charge of your security. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that it was, was all everything went fine. After, anyway. after that, I didn't. At that point, I just realized what that guy was, and was, I was like, "Man, this isn't going to ruin my day." So yeah. I just walked around the fence and got me a Dr Pepper and sold some more T-shirts. Yeah, enjoyed some good music. The second day was much more enjoyable with less wind. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, that first day was. How'd that goat rope end up? <laughs> oh, my header missed. <laughs> my header missed too. That's actually pretty. Good. <laughs> Who was your header? I might have missed for <laughs> Willie and Carson, and then my header missed. Yeah, it was like a hundred dollars out, like quick. Dude, I got oh. nervous too because I you you put you put a hundred down for all of us to go in there, and I was like, dude, I gotta if he if he gets this, like that's it on me. Yeah, I'm you were glad I missed. I was. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Y'all were both glad I missed <laughs> because I knew I wasn't gonna <laughs> rope that thing. Dude, them things are fast. Yeah, if you don't, if you're not roping goats every day and yeah. like getting used to, like if you rope ten and you watch like, zip, zip, zip. yeah, and then the the I think the second one he was like, oh, this one's good. This one's slow. I swear he was faster than the first one. And dude, <laughs> they were juicing him up with the hot, hot shot. shot, and they just they just go from standing still to. Gone. <laughs> you blink, you blink your eye. Yeah, it's, the it's like a That's drag awesome. race. Yeah. It's like a drag race mm -hmm. for those goats, you know. Anyway. But, but you can't just nod your head and get ready to go. You have to, like, kick the chute open yourself. Is that uh, what it's called? A rope and chute? I don't know what yeah. the rope and side's called. Yeah. It's called whatever. You have to, like, kick this little lever. So you're focused on kicking the lever and then looking up. Well, the pot, you look up, he's already gone. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, they got us there. We entered, and I was like, and you was like buy a, your own rope. Yeah, it was like $100. <laughs> what? <laughs> so what? Put, yeah. put $100 down for, um, so it had been me and Willie, 20 bucks each, me and Carson, 20 bucks each, and then me and another guy, but I didn't have to pay for him. So that's why it was 40, 40, 20. Anyway, and so I gave them the 100. We signed all the cards, and I was like, Pick up y'all, got some, y'all got some ropes? They're like, oh, yep, right here, 15 bucks each. They don't tell you until after you sign yeah. up. Yeah. Oh, like, that's a great was, business plan. I, well, I was like, I'm not buying a goat rope. Yeah. I will steal one from a child before I buy a goat rope. <laughs> hey, so, kid, you like doing frisbee? Thankfully, <laughs> this girl was like, yeah, you can use mine. So she, she's the one that ultimately won the buckle. But w- I walked up there, and there was like, there were two entries. And they had a buckle there. I was like, I had no intention. I was like, okay, we're entering. That's why I entered three times. Because I had no intention of goat roping until I realized there were two entries. (laughs) But you didn't know that you could enter as many times as you wanted over and over and over again. No, I knew that. I Uh, assumed that. They said that, and I was like, dang, I didn't know, like... Got if you really <laughs> wanted to and you had enough money, <laughs> you buckle. could win this. <laughs> but, I mean, if you're the one putting it on, like, what do you have to lose? Yeah. The goats just run, so they're taking a cut. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, buckle. if you want to enter 10 Why times, not? that's $400 <laughs> you're going to give us. Was it an actual, like, goat rope and buckle? Like it yeah. Said that yeah. yeah. It was yeah. actually yeah. a pretty nice buckle. <laughs> it was, oh, it was cool. It had, like, the cotton fest badge on it. Yeah. Oh, that, that said goat pretty rope. Sweet. It was yeah. actually yeah. pretty sweet. I'm not yeah, going to That's lie. what got me. That's the reason why I entered. Absolutely. They also had a, a buckle for the mechanical bull riding. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be a little tougher. Carson Alma, was it what? I can't remember. Was it Carson or Bronk? It was, it was Carson. Carson was I was riding. busy. Because he, that's why, because he bucked off. You went yeah. a bucking off. Yeah. Buck, bucking off. You went a bucked off. Um, yeah, he rode. Carson tried to ride backwards. Yeah, why? He looked like an idiot. Because the kids sounds, got sounds, grit. Yeah, but riding it back. <laughs> <laughs> because because it was bucking like pretty easy, and everybody was riding it. Uh-huh. So you had to like kind of go above uh, and yeah. beyond. And if he would have done that, we could have said he went ninety and won the whole thing. Without, he would have won the without whole it thing. without it looking. Yeah, like, it had to. He also yeah, had to make yeah. it look because Dale was the judge. Yeah, Dale and Willie ah, were judges. Okay. So he were judging, all right. <laughs> swooped on him. <laughs> <laughs> then it would have looked pretty suspect. Yeah, yeah if he'd have rode him like normal. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah right. Very yeah. suspect because he won it. Regularly. The two of us were judging it, and then if he went up there and then won it, <laughs> well, not me. <laughs> did you ha- only have to stay, Did you have to stay on for eight seconds? How did, how was it yeah. working? Yeah. Oh, yeah. dang! He turned them all the way up, and you got to stay on eight seconds. Right. So like everybody rode, we had to. We had to judge on style. Yeah. Ah. I don't, it was, I didn't know what to do. And they were trying to get Will and I, Will, uh, William Clark Green and I to each ride. And I said, there's, this has never been a more true statement, but there's literally not enough added. There's not <laughs> enough money in this facility. <laughs> That's a cool mechanical board. <laughs> to get me on that. Like, I don't mind going for the buckle, but yeah. I just, I mean, like to get, I don't know. <clears throat> it's, Everybody's ready to make DB look like a fool on a mechanical that's, bull. That's true. Yeah. Anybody can do. It. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like you're at you're at the mercy of the joystick. You don't have. Yeah. yeah it's it, a oh, machine. Yeah. I, I and you, yeah. That guy definitely had a button he could have pressed to juice that thing up. I saw him over there working at it. I like don't think sure he would have right done angles. it. Like he might have been one of the three people who doesn't know who yeah. Dale Brisby is. But if he did know, <laughs> like he, you know, yeah, ludicrous anyway. speed. <laughs> <laughs> um. X Games. Man. What's he doing? He's turning it up. <laughs> He's turning it up. What's he doing back there? He's, He's turning, turning it up. up. I don't know how many times I said that. Not enough. I said it a lot. Well, yeah. from afar. Right. Because you weren't there. That's right. <laughs> I said it to myself. You mind if I step <laughs> out? Yeah, sure. Okay. You got to go? Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, it was good to have you, Bronk. Yeah, we appreciate it. Okay. It was okay? Yeah. We're going to see you spur one later? I, you might. A paint horse is caught. All right. He's, he's in the Well, bag. I don't. Did you let him out? Um. Uh, <laughs> well, well. Dang, that was. <laughs> that thanks was for coming, Bronk. That was abrupt. Anytime, buddy. Yes, sir. Yeah, pr- it was good, good to have you. I'm sure it was. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm sure it was. Yeah, it was good to have Bronk Johnson on. <laughs> Look at that feather he has on his head. Too. Yeah, that's a. That's a big I, old feather. I want to say it's like a peacock feather. Yeah, that's probably something Bronk would wear. I thought it was a seagull. Feather. That's an odd individual. That is an odd individual. Yeah. Wouldn't mind yeah. not seeing him again. I wonder what his. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wonder. 
wonder what his childhood was like. Probably not good. <laughs> yeah. So, Poor guy. anyway. Doesn't sound like he came from a very loving and supporting family. I think but. he's from an igloo. Everybody comes here for a reason, typically. Yep. Um, we've got a couple of, I think we have four bull riders. Willie, Carson, Jordan. No, we got five. Carlos and Kevin. Yep. We've got five bull riders. We've got one bronc rider. Um, they didn't come here for this. But we've got a uh, breakaway roper and a steer wrestler. They're going to have to seek wisdom for that elsewhere. Because <laughs> <laughs> I just I can't see help them. see if this bull riding guy knows about <laughs> yeah. they, they, In their defense, they came here to do other things but have found that they want to, you know, Blythe wants to break away rope. Um, what's that other guy's name? Gabriel wants to steer wrestle. But I can help you with the horse riding part. But <laughs> I, it's crazy how little I know about that end of the arena, having spent so much time in the arena. Yeah. But there's 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 limited things I can help. Oh, Carson. Oh, hey. Hey. Hey, buddy. Where have you been? Oh, careful. Oh, you know, I've been out there at the ranch. Designing hats. Ranching? Hat. Designing yeah, hats. Ranching and designing hats. Man, you just missed Bronk. Really? Yeah, He's just in here. Bronk Johnson. Yeah. I look yeah. up to that guy. Yeah, ah. it's You're the only you never, one. <laughs> it's a shame you never met him in person. I would love to meet him. Yeah. One of these days. I know. I'll, I'll catch him. One of these days. Well, it's good to have you. It's good to be here. Um, we already recapped Cotton Fest. Oh, yeah. Okay. What did you think of Cotton at? Fest? It was fun. Yeah, I got a got to meet a lot of cool guys. And you rode a mechanical was, bull backwards. Yeah, I rode a mechanical bull backwards. Or tried to. It sounds like. Well, I rode him for like five. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Adam clocked at seven point nine. I was getting nine. Yeah, I went. I was in the goat roping. <laughs> Just already right in town. Yeah, my header missed in the goat roping. <laughs> okay. Yep. A lot of that. <laughs> a lot, lot of that going around. Willie almost. <laughs> Willie almost got into a fight. It, yeah, he was yeah. telling us about that. Yeah. yeah, with some. Anything with Carlos happened? Oh yeah, he broke his leg. Okay. <laughs> and Man. oh yeah, go had ahead. surgery, and I took him to surgery. Yep. Had a boy. Carlos broke his leg. Yeah. Kevin's collarbone's acting up. Willie oh, broke yeah. his foot. Willie broke his foot. Yeah, my big toe. Really bad injury. Um, so, anyways, we got nine interns. Eight of them. I've gone through eight of them. Um, There's one missing. Six of them are are still actively on the rough end, rough stock end of the arena. See, for those of you that aren't familiar with the rodeo events, you've got um, the rough stock end and the timed event end. Um, bareback, saddle bronc, bull riding, picking up, and bullfighting. I consider those two rough stock. There's five things on the rough stock end of the arena. And uh, most arenas, they're on separate ends. Sometimes they'll put them side by side on, you know, weird arenas. But most arenas, you've got a rough stock in, and then you've got a timed event in. And the timed event in, it would be calf roping, team roping, steer roping, steer wrestling, and uh, barrel racing is technically a timed event. So when I say timed event, it's like you try to get the quickest time. All the rough stock is like you try to get the highest score in eight seconds. So your boy DB grew up on the rough stock end of the arena. Like that's just what we did growing up. Like our family. My old man could team rope really well, but I just never picked it up. Um, so anyways, most of the people that come here come to learn the rough stock end. <coughs> and um, a few have transitioned to the timed event end. And we're trying to get them lined up with some schools to go to. But then we've got Cole, who used to ride bareback horses. Yep. Um, and he's here to uh, really just learn a lot of the, 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 the marketing and the branding side of things. Uh, he's been picking up for us. And, um, and we, we just acquired two Colts for him to help start, Bill and Baxter. Right, Boss and Baxter. It's been pretty, yeah, it's been yeah. pretty nice learning about them so Wait, far. what are their names? That was Bill. It. I heard Bill. 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 Yeah, Boss. It's, it's crazy that, that Cole is here to, to, what are some of the other names you suggested for the gray horse? Boudreau. Uh, that wasn't oh, the first one. Bat was the first ba one. Yes, that was the first Bat one. Bat is a good name. One of the best dogs I ever had. His name was Bat, and he was gray. Okay, well, that was just your like, dog. That was <laughs> nowhere near Texas. I'm just saying, Bo. Exactly. Right. Why Bo, would you Bo name? Why would them. you name an animal after a different animal? It's kind of that's like Bat. No, he would be named after Bat Masterson. 
Uh, I had a dog named Roscoe, and I had a dog named Bat. I like Roscoe. That's cool. Roscoe P. Coltrane. That's and then cool. Bat Masterson. Well, for like, uh, Cole does a lot of writing for us for some, like the rodeo show. He does all the writing. He'll help with random shows, but um, it's crazy how funny and creative he is. And the name he comes up with a horse is Bat. That's a good name. That's Batman. a camel. Followed by Boss. <laughs> boss is an awesome name. Bill is the best name. I don't think, I think Boss, because you could be talking like, isn't that right, Boss? And then, you know, Dale look around. But yeah. Like, no, 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 no. I was talking to my horse. I think that would be hilarious. Uh, uh, I, yep. Yeah, you guys can say what you want. I think uh, what we've settled on is just he's going to call him Bill and I'm going to call him Boss. Everybody's going to call him Bill. <laughs> Except for me. <laughs> um, yeah, so Cole's been working with those two horses. So yep. that's his thing. Most Everybody has a thing, you know. So <clears throat> some people... I'm, I've, I've yet to figure out what happened. Well, the, the people in the past that have figured out they don't have a thing anymore, they leave. So <laughs> that's, that's kind of been what's... <laughs> yeah. You so, sure these horses aren't coming along? I'm going to get them saddled like next month. <laughs> Just keep dragging it out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not saying I fire them. I'm yeah. saying they, they choose to leave. Right. I do. Man, once you got those horses here, yeah, I really started a Texas has really grown on me this last week. It is actually pretty funny. <laughs> That's, hey, he went from, he went from like, Short term to like long term, like I kind of like Texas. <laughs> no, that's I mean that's how it works. No, you know, I can, like I get it. Um, Sam, his thing wasn't bull riding. He went back. Uh, Deanie Weenie String Bikini. He his was just an actual internship, and it was short term. He was the very first one here in Winnebago, at least. Yeah, he went back. Uh, Garrett Kelly Johnson. He, it's not that he quit riding Bronx, but I think he realized a higher priority for him was his family ranch. And so once he came here for Bronx riding, and once he realized that wasn't his top priority anymore, he went back. Uh, Wes, he wanted to be a rancher and a bull rider. And then once that kind of shifted and it became more of a family thing, he met his girlfriend, then it was his fiance, and then his wife. Um, yeah, he 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 went on to do <clears throat> a trade that paid him more in dollars. Ah, um, who else? I'm trying to think who else. But anyway, the point is, is like, <clears throat> yeah, usually that thing that someone's doing is kind of what keeps them here, which is fine with me. I don't. If somebody needs to go do something else with their life, I'm okay with people. I mean, yeah, Wes was going to start a family. If he needs to go do something else, that's fine yeah. with me. We parted as friends. Yeah, I don't know. I just always yeah. What? <laughs> when you first said that, I thought you meant like we parted as friends. Like our friendship was over. <laughs> <laughs> we were no longer friends. Yeah. <laughs> no, the opposite. Like that was the end of that. Ka when Kaylin left, like she actually gave me like a four month uh, notice. She was like, "Hey, I'm gonna probably leave in January." I was like, "Okay, cool." Yeah. So she, I mean, she worked for four more months. It's just I just don't think it's a bad thing whenever somebody. Uh, Everett, he realized, I think he realized bull riding one for him. He yeah. left. So. Pretty crazy. But, um, that's that yeah. I forgot about him. But, uh, yeah, if somebody needs to leave, that's fine. <laughs> so. I was, right when I started to get good, <laughs> I'm not going to leave right away. Uh, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, are you leaving on this podcast? No, 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 no. Are I like you quitting? Cool, I like, no, you quitting? I, no, I'm really not. No. I like Texas because when I first got down here, I wasn't, and even we'd talked about it, I wasn't sure what to expect, wasn't sure what I was going to get out of it, and then, I don't know, kind of just finding a groove, like once you kind of get familiar with everything. I really like when we have the pay, like, I don't know, finding my place you know, amongst everybody and everything, like I get to do some cowboy stuff and then I get to like make it better. You know, like when we work in the warehouse on the computers and everything, it's like, I get to do a lot of the things that I just absolutely love to do and, you know, do those kind of not on my terms, a hundred percent, but more on, more on my terms, you know, like Dale and I get along and the people we, people we go help, I get along with. So I get to go do that. And then I get to come here and like learn how to make money off of that. You know, you know what I mean? Like, it's great just going day working. I have, like, I, I love ranching jobs, but here it's like I get to go, I get to make it bigger. So it's like it, 
for me, it's a it's a better like it's a it's an awesome pace, you know, to get to do to do some things I love and then like grow those things, you know, even more. So that's why I like it. Yeah, that's why these Colts. I'm not saying that they were like a yeah. It just it changed everything about about me being here. Like yeah. I I you liked were, it before. Before but. the Colts, you were counting your days. No. I was just like looking. I was more just looking for. All right, <laughs> you go up to the twenty footer, and there's just like <laughs> just tallies, just just tallies. tallies. No, I wasn't. No, not at all. But like, as soon as he talks to me about him, I was like, awesome. I don't know. And then just kind of everything. I think it was just more just getting my mind right than anything else. Like you know, learning how to, like learning what I could get out of this versus just um, I don't know, like just trying to, uh, I don't know, just trying to be something versus I, I don't know. I'm babbling now, but yeah. I, uh, I I dang sure yeah it's it's pretty cool. We glad you decided. To what stay would you cold. do if you, if you didn't want to ride bulls anymore? Me, Carson. I'd stay. Is that what you're asking? Yeah. Like oh yeah, I would stay and milk this for as long as I could. <laughs> 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 I already know Willie would stay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I was gonna say <laughs> Willie. You guys already know the like, answer. Willie's got a Texas driver's license. Yeah. Willie threatened to buy the place next door if he ever got fired. And then just every time we buck bulls, hey, <laughs> what you guys doing? Hey, you guys want some help? <laughs> I had I'll an intern. Latches. Getting good. <laughs> <laughs> I had an intern say that once. I don't think that I'm not bringing this up because I think that you fall in the same category. But I had an intern bring that up once and he was here for two weeks. Ooh. But like in the somewhere in the middle of those two weeks, he said that. He was like, man, if you fired me. I would get a job at Subway just so I could hang out here after work if you'd let me. Like the first time we went and fed cows, he was filming every bit of it. He'd never seen anything <laughs> like that. Sweet kid. I was like, man, we found once, you know, like a lifer, you know? Yeah. yeah. I think it was like less than a week after that comment, he was gone. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be funny if you did that, Willie. I was like, I don't think he just left. <laughs> imagine the the goodbye Willie Sticky Rodeo Rosin commercial. Oh, that would be good. <laughs> I'm not going to imagine that. Because, <laughs> yeah, imagine your company going belly up. Dude. <laughs> well, imagine losing everything. <laughs> <laughs> Willie's it's been like Job. Here. Willie's been here a year. Willie's he'd be like Job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got biblical references to what this would be like. <laughs> I just don't want to think about oh, it. But it wasn't were, even uh, rodeo time. It was just Willie Sticky. <laughs> Carson. <laughs> Carson's just trying to come up with the most hurtful what if situ situation. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened here. But. <laughs> hey, man, <laughs> was it because I made that everything? And I, dude, yeah. I'm. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. so let's let's take it back. Um, I don't know if this has been talked about on a podcast. I don't think it has. <laughs> Carson's ready. So yeah, Everett was here, and um, we called to Everett the People's Champ. I really was a fan of the guy, Donnie. Donnie as well. Donnie's admitted it too, and we all still are. Yeah, Willie's just he he used he used past tense there only because of how sad he was. <laughs> Dude, I was hurt. <laughs> I was hurt. Everett was the people's champ, and we we was like, this is the one. He was gonna, gonna move be, in. He was gonna be Kevin and I. He's gonna roommate. be the face of Rodeo Town, and uh, he was gonna move in with you. And then like just one morning, he he was like, hey. Help me! Can you help me move in tonight? Yeah, and, and he was like, Willie no, was we'll just like, wait till Willie didn't see that. Willie didn't see the text yeah. for a couple hours, and Willie responded, and "Be like, hey man, sorry, I just saw this, but yes." And then he was like, "Oh, we'll just do it in the morning," because at that point it was like nine thirty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, seven o'clock the next morning, he was already like almost out of Texas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I just rolled into first the first of all. <laughs> Sick, like leaving plan. Oh yeah, that's dope. So he, <laughs> the he, Irish goodbye yeah. of all Irish he goodbyes. <laughs> so. He could have robbed us blind and <laughs> got away with it clean. Some Which, Ocean's Eleven type yeah. stuff. Again, it's completely okay if somebody yeah. needs to leave. Uh, I get it. You know, like I'm, I'm okay. Yeah. If somebody has, life, to, yeah. If anybody, Lisa's not allowed to quit. I would be very upset with Lisa <laughs> if she were to quit. She, this, this place cannot run without her. And there's a lot of other people that are eerily close to her. Thank you. But if their life, <laughs> but if their life, like if everybody left yeah. and it were just me and Lisa, <laughs> same thing. Like I, we'd be up a creek. But I'm just saying like. <laughs> what do you want to make a video of? If someone <laughs> came to me and was like, hey, my life is taking me a different direction. What I'm saying is, is I wouldn't hold it against them. 
Right. It might be really hard to replace that person. Yeah. But what I'm saying is it'd be like, okay, then you need to go do something yeah. else. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's fine. And oh, I would, no, no, no. You can't leave. I would say it in that tone. Like, I wouldn't yeah. cuss them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so yeah. anyways, that was Everett. Well, rewind to Everett's video. Like, he had sent in a video. He made the top three. And I'm, I'm vaguely, I'm getting mixed up because we've hired enough. But, like, I remember, like, the different submissions of videos. One of them was... Carson, Carson Sanders. Car- Carson was also <laughs> in the top three. Carson was also in the Carson top three. Carson was the top three. We might it might have been a top five at that time, but regardless, you yeah. were in the you, you were, were in the top, the top three. Well, you but you told me I was in top five, and then after I, I got told here, you, you were like I told you yeah. in the top five, and you, then then it came down to you and Everett after yeah. the top five, and you y'all didn't tell me that till I got here, and I was a fan of Carson. <laughs> Who wasn't? I'm not saying I wasn't a fan of Everett. It wasn't like, because I let, I was like, but it was like a group. We're all in the room. Right. Willie does these, does the FaceTimes, you know, just because it's, With the I little don't know, suit it's funny. On. But like, Willie will do a FaceTime. He's got a suit. To, <clears throat> all right. Let me, let me set the stage a little better. Well, I'm kind of rambling here. <clears throat> We're down to not only the top five, but the top two. We've done a FaceTime with three or four people. We're all in the room, <clears throat> like most of the interns and me. Willie is in the FaceTime. He's got the phone set in front of him. Does a FaceTime with Everett. He's the people champ. We all like him. Does a FaceTime with Carson. <laughs> I liked Carson. You know, I was like, okay, man, this is a tough decision. And Willie was like, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. That's Donnie's like, when Donnie like disagrees, like that's what he says. I don't know, man. Like when he doesn't want to tell you. I, like, I, I was just, when we hung up, I was like, and then <laughs> Willie, he's not gonna Willie and Donnie were like, we don't know about Carson. <laughs> we called him. He's just another. We were like, he's just another guy. <laughs> he's just a guy yeah. at this point. Here I am, six months later. What's just special about this guy? <laughs> no, still nothing. Like, yeah, so they were um, right. So <laughs> we went with. Deal. And so at that point, you know. I, I brought all these people in here and asked their opinion, you know, and we've narrowed it down to what I think are two good candidates. So right. if if there's somebody that has an opinion, I might as well go with, all right, well, whatever y'all think. Like right. either one of them I think would be good. So if everybody thinks Everett, we'll just go with Everett. Yeah. That was my thought on it. Yeah. You know, like I was, I I legitimately was like, okay, as long, so long as one of them can make it here. And uh, so, yeah, they went with Everett. 13 days later. <laughs> <laughs> I Well, Kevin and I had a conspiracy that if an intern didn't touch a stay, because th- at that time we were still doing stays, right. if an intern didn't touch a stay, they weren't going to stay longer. Or they just weren't going to work out. And it yeah. started with him. And then so, you came along and didn't touch a stay and then went home. And we're like, yeah. dude, oh, yeah, but for the Christmas, curse. Yeah. The for curse. Christmas, yeah. They but had anyway. me on stays like my first day. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. go back to the story. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, so... um so he leaves, and so we're. Like, I was like, man, we got to try this Carson guy again. He was in the top three. Somebody said it. I don't know. It might not have been me, but like, it's like, all right, let's go back to the list. Is what that's what I said. We need yeah. to go back to the list. Went through the videos one more time, and then uh, did another Facetime with Carson. And Willie was like, I still don't like him. <laughs> he just seemed really, based on his videos, he seemed really cocky. He seemed kind of like a gunzel. Like he was going to come here and be a know-it-all and like start telling us all this stuff. And I don't have, I'm a chicken farmer, so I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm not going to act like I know what I'm doing. And I can't stand people that I know they know, know nothing about it, but are going to put this like face on. So that's what I thought he was. And I was like, Man, I really don't want to have to deal with that. He can come here, but, but I don't want to live with him. You guys, <laughs> yeah. you're, the, you're the boss. So as long as he doesn't live with me, we'll be okay. (laughs) (laughs) So we let him, did you stay in the bunkhouse first? Yeah. Yeah. For like five days. Yeah. So Carson came down, stayed in the bunkhouse. Well, first we asked him, we were like, Hey, you don't, have you ever been away from home for longer than like a couple of days? We called him again and you called him on the phone. And that's when I, that's when my kind of perception on him changed. I started changing. I should not have judged. I wasn't being Christ-like. I should not have been judging him. Uh, well, no, it, that's exactly we yeah, were doing yeah, that on yeah. purpose. <laughs> yeah. We're trying to hire. Well, somebody. I was wrong. Yeah, we should tr- have a little bit of judgment, right? Yeah, yeah <laughs> I mean, it's like, <laughs> hey, tell us your best qualities, and then you make a decision. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. it's literally kind of judgment. You know, 
kind of that's like you're like a PRCA judge. Like, man, I hated to judge you, but you didn't win. Like, okay, well, <laughs> it's your job to decide yeah. that. You know, PRCA judge. He's a really nice guy. <laughs> it's really <laughs> nice. So anyway, you were asked to make that yeah. decision. It's okay. The reason why we're talking about it now is it's funny because of how good of friends y'all are. Oh, it was almost immediately him and I became like best friends. Yeah, like my third day we went and picked up Kevin. Yeah, we went and picked up Kevin. So we had like a two hour car ride. <clears throat> yeah, so that was it. You Our and friends. Kevin were already pretty tight. You guys didn't believe me about him. I was telling people he talks and you guys are like, he doesn't talk. I was like, Yes he does. It took it's him actually hilarious. Like, it took him months yeah. before he would talk to me. Yeah, he was scared. He I think he told me he was intimidated by you. Like I, <laughs> well, he tells us a story. It's like his like first few days here. He parked his car like in the drive to the ranch in front of the bunkhouse. <laughs> yeah, so my driveway is pretty narrow going beside my house, and then in the back is there's enough room. There is enough room for somebody to park on the left side and the right side, and people can still get in the middle and get back yeah. to the arena. But anyhow, continue. Yeah, so he didn't, but he kind of parked in the middle. And then you asked him to go get it. Like, what did you say to him? No, he he parked it in the middle, and like I was getting in a different truck, about to go down the driveway. He walked like ten feet out in front of his truck, and uh, he said, "Like, hey, that's probably not in the way. It's or something like it's it's all right right there." I was like, "Yeah, I guess if you think it is, it probably you know." Like he obviously <laughs> yeah. knew. Like yeah. it was like it was so obvious. He was like four feet from this one, and then like. You know, it was like clearly yeah. in and the didn't, middle. And at that point, he doesn't understand your humor. No, yeah. yeah. And I was like, <laughs> if you think it's all right, Kev, it's all right. I think I said something like that. <laughs> and he yeah. just shakes his head. He's like, this guy's a jerk. <laughs> so he thought, he was like, I don't know. He said, he was thinking to himself, I don't know what I'm going to do. This guy hates me. Like, I just got here. I'm going to have to go back to Tennessee. <laughs> no, I just, it, it's like, I don't know. It, it's... <laughs> it was crazy because it was like in the middle and crooked. And he walks 10 feet and he goes like, that's a good parking job, right? And this isn't, this isn't know, like, his Honda Civic. This is his souped-up F-250. Yeah. He, he knew it was a crappy parking yeah. job. Yeah. Just a roadblock. I, and I said something completely sarcastic. Like, I just, I have to. Uh, I have to. Yeah. I, I can't not, Kev. Sorry. <laughs> and then there was, but but obviously, like, I'm not going to fire the guy because he parks like a hole you know what i'm saying like yeah. it's not that big of a deal yeah. because he sucks at shapes <laughs> <laughs> hey my sister does it every time she comes to the house my sister has never parked correctly but i don't say anything to it like who cares like just drive around even if you got to get up on the curb it's not that big of a deal but if she were to say hey do you like the way I park? I would say something sarcastically <laughs> to my sister. You know, like yeah. my mom, my you know, Kevin. Of course, I'm gonna I'm gonna be a sarcastic old just like you are. <laughs> the way you park. Anyway, so then there was something else like that, a second thing. And it was something while he was loading that chain link off. Oh yeah, I remember him talking about it. I don't remember what it was. It was either. I wish we could. But he got was, mad about it. Was he? Yeah. Yeah. But he like, he thought you didn't like him, and he was like, this guy's an a-hole like, to me. Like, he's like, he doesn't like me. Honestly, I don't think I like him. <laughs> you know what? I don't like him. I'm going to say it. <laughs> it wasn't that I didn't like him. It was just that, like, like he never talks ever. We put him on a podcast, <laughs> and this joker, I was like, it's a podcast, Kevin. He never talked, and then the one thing he does is he parks like this. <laughs> Like out of a cartoon, <laughs> like, and, and he asks me for this layup. Like, it's almost like, hey, he comes up to me. It's like, hey, please make a sarcastic <laughs> remark about my com about my parking. <laughs> okay, here you go. <laughs> he lobs me this, dude. I'll do you one then. I was at we were, uh, I showed up at a branding without a horse once. Yeah, because me and my buddy, he was like he was came to the ranch and everything. Just speaking of you know, bonehead mistakes. Me and my buddy, he shows up to the ranch, everything. And like I saddled my horse in the barn and then I like walked outside to pee or something. And I come back in my truck and trailer. There's two horses in there. And I thought, ah, oh, nice guy. He must've loaded my horse. So we, so I just shut the doors and we take off and I'm, we're BSing me and, uh, me and Ian. And I was just thinking, ah, oh, this is great. You know? And he's, he calls me Walt and he's like, Walt, you, uh, you got a horse up there waiting for you? And he goes, no, no, I just keep them all, all there back at the barn. It was quiet for another 10 minutes. He goes, 
but you don't have one waiting where we're going. I was like, no. And he goes, why'd you, why'd you leave yours in the barn then? I was like, oh, like, <laughs> <laughs> are you kidding me? Yeah. I had to, had to, had to backtrack like 45 minutes. So you did show up with a horse. Yeah, but I mean, we were all, we were basically pulling up to where we were supposed yeah. to be. Gotcha. And I didn't. Yeah, that was yeah. a that was a tough one to live down. What an idiot! <laughs> yeah, I yeah no I yeah never doubt my ability to screw up a perfectly good plan. Yeah, I drove through town once with my trailer gate open. Nah, but that happens. Yeah, I'd got in at like two in the morning the night before, and anyhow went out there the next morning to a couple hours later, essentially, <laughs> but. Jerry still talks about it. <laughs> I love Jerry. Jerry. Yeah. Jerry's the man. He, he is the man. He told Chet, you might tell your brother-in-law to shut his trailer. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, no, we, we like Kevin. Going no, back. we do. We do like Kevin. Do you like Kevin? So I need to talk to him about him thinking I'm an a-hole, though. That was one I mean, That was one time. And I don't even know the story I might be making you, up in my head. What are you hoping to get out of that conversation? Yeah. Hey, uh, man. I just need fuel. <laughs> I need fuel. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> and there'll be like a week of me giving him a more, another more of a hard time. Right. So you're mad at me because you park like an well, that's what that'll be my personal. <laughs> no, that wasn't that wasn't that was a different instance when he was. Yeah, mad. but that was like one of the things that led up Built to up. it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. How do you feel about me, Carson? What do you have to say bad about your boss? Yeah. What do you have bad to say? Nothing. Uh, See, you're I'm tied not for the best <laughs> boss I've ever had. Tied. Tied. Yeah. My Tied. dad left. My, I worked for my dad before this. I am your dad. So, well, my Ooh. my other dad. <laughs> I heard Ooh. I heard Bronk calling I'm himself Daddy, Daddy earlier. Mm. Yeah. No. Hey, I'm your dad Bronk's now. Bronk's just my real. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> other dad. <laughs> <laughs> um. <clears throat> dang, I was about to ask. Yeah, I don't get. I don't get. There's just like simple things that. I'm trying to think of an example. Like I would like somebody parking poorly is not something I would fire someone for. I thought you were gonna fire me for losing catfish. Nah. Catfish just took off one day while I was feeding and I was looked everywhere, like walked, you know, drove everywhere around the pasture and I was like, he's just friggin' gone. And I text Leroy and he goes, Yeah, somebody shot at him last time. You uh you probably better find him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. He was like, Yeah, he was like Five blocks away, just sniffing at these pit bulls behind a fence. Some <laughs> yeah. dude comes out there and goes, that's your dog? And he's like, no, but I'll take him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's kind of, you can't really, yeah. When Greaser worked for me, he felt the same way because when, you know, like when you let him off the chain, he'll take off running in a big yeah. circle. And he wrote, ran by this post with a piece of metal sticking out. And it drug all the skin off his shoulder blade. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, he thought I was going to fire him for that. I was like, no, dude, I don't – I mean, like, I care. Like, I want the dog to yeah. be <laughs> pain-free. But, I mean, if he he did what he did, you know, the dog took off or whatever. So, yeah, I don't – yeah, and then there was a person, I'll just say a person who worked for me at one time, was in charge of giving Lucas their meds, ah. his meds. And I was gone – I had a family member in the – in the hospital for like a month. And so I was gone for a couple of weeks, like sleeping in the hospital room with this person. And, uh, yeah, when I got back, um, sh this person had not given Lucas his meds and the dog died. Ah, I didn't fire that person. Yeah. There were some things I felt like I probably could have done better <laughs> as far as like managing the dog while I was away. You know, yeah. like I, pr I pr probably should have put, I should have put the dog in charge of someone who knew how important was it was to like, get, I like to take responsibility as much as I can. And that was one of those situations I felt like that person was, I don't think the, the person wanted to help the dog. Oh. You know, so it was, it didn't want to, like, you right. know what I mean? Like they were just helping me out because I was like off with family. So anyhow, that person ended up quitting later anyway, but they weren't an intern. They were a hired person. Yeah. So anyways, whatever. It works itself out. The point is, yeah. like, I feel like <laughs> the few people I've had to let go were for, like, good reason, not like they didn't know how to park, you know? Yeah. But I personally have had a lot of jobs, and I feel like 
the one that we have here is pretty lit. I mean, like, oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, they're T-shirts. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, now, also at the end of the day, no matter what kind of job it is, both sides of those, whether you're the employee or the employer, nobody likes to be taken advantage of. So, you know, that's a different scenario. It doesn't mean that, like, somebody could just, like, not show up right. or, you know, come in, like, at noon, three or four or five days in a row without letting somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. all right, hey, you got to be here. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> communicate with me. <laughs> right. But but uh, but on the other hand, like, there's not a whole lot that's, like, pressing. Deal. Br- yeah. You know, especially I, if somebody needs to leave. You know, like, we, there's a lot, there's very few people that, well, when you come here, you kind of learn everything. So, like, everybody can fill orders. Everybody can answer customer service emails. Um, there's a lot of y'all that can edit. So, like, if somebody needs to leave and they're not here, for instance, Donnie's not here today, well, that's fine because there's four other people here that know how to edit. Jordan's getting the rodeo time ready for tomorrow. So, like, it's just it just works out, you know. Yeah. Um, but... Yeah, growing up with my old man in agriculture, though, it's like everything was always an emergency. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because <laughs> usually, like ranching, like most of your job is fixing something that went wrong, I feel like. Right. A lot well, of and you're always behind. You yeah. know what I mean? Like it's mm-hmm. never, it's not really the kind of job that you get ahead of. It's like, right. working, it's like working at the post office, you know. There's going to be mail tomorrow. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, he was, he had a temper. Growing up, he had a temper. And we... uh we later found out he had MS and I don't know how much that contributed to his temper or not. You know, I'm sure it did because, you know, I don't know. I just think it did. I don't know a lot about MS, but, uh, anyways, whatever he, uh, it was, it was, it was a lot like working for like, I like to say a mix between John Wayne and Woodrow F. Call, you know, like, not, like yeah, just like <laughs> kind of a sound. hard yeah. boss, you know? And, um, wanted you to kind of see things happen before he would explain it, you know, and like, especially if it was something we had done before, like he really expected you to know what was going on, right. you know? And I say that that's a nice way of saying he wasn't a good communicator. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And so there's a lot of times in ranching, like I find myself, that's really the only time you guys might see me get worked yeah. up, Yeah, you know, but, and I act a lot like he did when we were ranching. Like I might yell at somebody and then, and then it's just like, we're over it as soon as it happened. I've not yelled at anybody the way he would yell at us though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you should just once just out of nowhere for like nothing. Oh just yeah. Like some, you yeah, just find cold. Yeah. Just like find some, Oh, I'll just, <laughs> uh, you just find a piece of trash or something out there and just just behind the buck and shoots and just lose it <laughs> just for like we don't have to film it but it would be amazing for you to do just once dude think about it it would be hard for, we should definitely film it dude you yeah. should do it on Donnie cause he's not oh, here I should do like, it on Kevin oh yeah, yeah. You should. Kevin Kevin <laughs> dude you're gonna be gone for a week take vacation and then you're gonna come here and let this place look like this <laughs> <laughs> dude this I'm would just, be that would be like, that would be pretty good i wonder what kevin would what do. if he like what if you <laughs> want me to snapped. like you want me to like like cuss him or something yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> what if he like cussed me back that's and even better that's, great that's even now, better yeah but what if he's serious and it hurts my feelings <laughs> 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 you do get your feelings hurt i will give you that one well it's not that I mean, I would get over it, but it would it might reveal some things that if I didn't really want to know. Just like, oh yeah, I hate I hate your hair. <laughs> I hate this job. <laughs> like something or, super specific. No, I was thinking more like I hate you as a person. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like in the other guys, I whatever take, he goes yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. I could take him not liking my hair. Yeah. I think. <laughs> right? I starts thinking about it. <laughs> I think I could do like um, I, I I fake. What did I do to you? Where I filmed it? Remember? I called you in the office. I don't know. You filmed it. What did I tell you to you? Like I, you were in trouble or something. Oh, when I was moving into the container, I was in the bunkhouse and you're like, so he's like, get a chair. And then <laughs> you like started like, I feel like I've done a lot of things for you. And like, I started paying you pretty quick. Uh, kept you in the bunkhouse, which was pretty much my own home. And to say all the things. And 
then I hear that you're ungrateful. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> I really wanted to be like, I don't know if this is me being ungrateful by saying I've been ungrateful. Like I'm not being ungrateful, but I feel like I've acted like I've been pretty blessed and I've let dude, you know that. Dude, there's this sick realization, kind of like when that guy cussed you out behind the booth, when you realize that, oh, he's, He's for real right yeah. now. <laughs> so imagine Dale yelling at Kevin. You're just confused. And just there's going to be that quick second because he's going to start laughing immediately. And then once if you would play your part right, there's going to be a sick realization. He's like, he's actually mad. No, this is that's what happened because <laughs> oh, I was yeah. looking at him to see if he was kidding. And, like, I didn't know him that well enough at that point. It was only, like, my first month I've been here. But I just was, like, staring at him. And I looked at Miss Lisa. And Miss Lisa was just <laughs> – but she was, like, I couldn't tell. So she looked like she was being serious, too. And I was, like – Oh, this is for real. Like, <laughs> I was like trying to go back. It's like, what did I say? Like, I know for a fact I didn't say anything negative. <laughs> like, I've never said anything negative about these people or this place. Still I don't. Know don't. Why. Yeah. And like, and then like he just kept going. And he's like, so you want to move into the 40, 40 footer even after you've been ungrateful this whole time? I just kept like <laughs> just kept nailing home that I've been ungrateful. <laughs> oh. Eventually, he let me know that I was kidding because I think he saw that like. At first, I was confused, and I think you realized that. And then, like, I started like really thinking, like, well, I messed up. <laughs> no, I was filming. It, it's not that I thought I you didn't were know you actually were filming. you were actually believed me. It's that you you had no reaction. <laughs> it wasn't going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't going to be good enough footage. He so was that's, just taking it. Off. <laughs> yeah, that's why the joke was over. Is you were like, you just you weren't like I was expecting like just laid back about well, it. Well, I didn't like, know how yeah. you were going to react, but I was like, I was wanting you to like. You know, like, oh, no, no, you know, like, you know, yeah. like, but you were just calm. You're like, no, sir, I'm pretty grateful. You know, it was just like, <laughs> you know, which I knew you were, obviously. I, I, that's why I chose that. I needed to pick something that was outlandish. And so, but yeah, I was just like, I'm just kidding. Yes, you can move it into the 40 footer, you know. But I was nervous at first. I guess I hit it pretty well because I was like, oh, man, <laughs> like, what did I do here? But uh, you did, you yelled at me once. You weren't mad, but you yelled at me once when we went and gathered for chat. But it was a miscommunication on both of our parts. I don't remember. We were yeah. gathering. I was and sleeping. You saw one yearling get back, and you said, leave him. I saw 15 get back, so I was going around to get him. And I just keep hearing Dale yell, just leave him. I'm looking at him. I'm like, all of them? Like, oh, we kind of need all of them. And he goes, just leave him. Oh. <laughs> then we come back, and he goes, hey, man, if it's just one, you don't have to go back and get him. I was like. Oh, there was, there was more than one. Oh, it wasn't that many, right? I was like, there were a few. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a miscommunication. On to the next one. Oh, I thought about it for this long, long enough to bring it back up. I still don't remember it. Yeah, I remember because I was next to Cole. Somebody had to let him back. <laughs> 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 I can't believe you're going to miss our spring Brandon. Yeah. Dang, dude. For turkey hunting? You yeah. want to be a cowboy or you want to be a hunter? It's all right. I'm already a hunter. You've been roping good, wanna though. be a cowboy? <laughs> no, yeah, I wanted to. I'm just kidding. People but say it all I was going to take off this last weekend. Mm. And we did the Cotton Fest thing. Ah. And then this weekend, the weather is supposed to be pretty good. Yeah. There'll so, be more Brandons. Yeah. yeah. We got a, yeah, I got a flank and everything. <laughs> That place we went to last weekend. Um, what if you like fun. just went early, like this week, and yeah, just yeah. leave tomorrow, leave today? I took. I could do that. Yeah, then you could. Then you could. I mean, you'd have to take a couple of days off. Yeah, but you got some sick days or something. Yeah, I'll do that. I didn't even think of that. And then you could come back Saturday. <laughs> He's like, wow, Sunday. The stars are really aligning for yeah. me. <laughs> I mean, it's only All Monday right. right now. Yeah, I'll I'll head out. What a good right boss! Right what a good boss! <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Yeah, right now, I don't know who I'm. Packed. I don't know who I'm taking yet to Yee Yee Day. Friday, I got to go to. Oh dang! Oh, I didn't know about that. Yeah. Well, yeah. you'll be you'll be hunting, so you won't be able to go do that. Yeah, you'll be gone. There gonna be some NASCAR drivers there. Mm, I doubt it. Maybe yeah. the that one. Not know what? Oh, what's his Is name? Is it Brandon Jones? Yeah, maybe I think that's Brandon right. Jones. Will the Yee Yee girls be there? Uh well th that's not they're not typically they're not necessarily like a team <laughs> you know they're, they're just, not like the Willie Sticky girls they're influencers wait what first of all we oh, gotta come up yeah. with a better name for them the Willie Sticky girls that's their name <laughs> we can't no call them. That's we can't what, call I'm them that. pretty sure that's what they're called Cole um, yeah. can't be but what they're they're they're, they're usually our girls there oh okay <laughs> I thought I thought you were more interested in like the singers making meeting the people 
Who's going to be there? Well, Obviously. Granger Smith. Granger Smith and one. Earl Dibbles Jr. But it'll be also, uh, well, it's not a lot of singers, actually. It's YouTubers. They're not, there's not. He started this because he wanted to do a music video, and he reached out to some singers, some fellow artists, to be in the music video with him, and got kind of ghosted by a few, and others didn't want to do it, whatever. And then he himself, a YouTuber, asked a bunch of YouTubers to come, and it was like... It's a pretty cool video. <clears throat> um, me, of course. Um, <laughs> like Matt Best, Robert Oberst, uh, Irving, the Reaper guy. A lot of gun channels. Mm -hmm. uh, Demolition, Ranch, uh, Jared Outlaw, uh, Lake Fork guy. Some guys like that. Hannah Barron was comes. Lunkers there. Lunkers TV was there. Yeah, that's what I'll, I'm, go, I'm I'll come come back for Friday. I don't know <laughs> if, if I can go. I don't know if, <laughs> if I don't I know if go? Lunkers. I don't think Lunkers was there last year. Oh, LFG, him and Lunkers were my favorite of the Gibson <coughs> crew. So well, last was year was. I mean, obviously, 2021. It was a little different, you know, just because mm -hmm. of blah blah blah. But um. But anyhow, do you think I kind of owe you? And so I was considering, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because of California. But, and then I was like, I took you to California because I owed you. <laughs> but you I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Fest. I'm sorry. Not California. I took him to Cotton Fest. Right. But Cotton Fest was like <laughs> paying you back. For that, was, that was not <laughs> me paying anyone back. That's like Mad Max. <laughs> that was like, that was actually work. Could you imagine and if I, that guy actually like just knocked me out? Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm going to pay you back. And then, because, and then this tool just comes out and just knocks Willie out for minding his own business. Because it was like prior to Confest, I was like, boy, have I got a deal for you. <laughs> Turns out it wasn't a deal. <laughs> I still had a pretty good time. No, it, was it, was a, fun, it was a, it was a, it was fun, but it, it's not like, like if I was there by myself without y'all doing what we were doing, it probably wouldn't have been fun. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. For you. Yeah. Yeah. But you got to hang out Friday yeah, night did. with Leroy. Y'all stayed up yeah. till like five thirty in the morning with party all them animal. <laughs> I didn't want to stay out that late. <laughs> you stayed uh, out with you did. William, with William, with Randall King. William wasn't there that night. Oh, he yeah, turned in. He turned well, in already. Josh Serrato was. Yeah, Serrato, who's more famous than Who, William Clark Green yeah. anyway. Serrato, he's, he's a really cool guy, lead guitarist. Yeah, yeah he's the then, coolest of guys. Yeah, like a really cool dude. And I just got it, like all the band members and everything. They were all cool. All the like the crew, everybody is cool. So it was, the reason why I said that it wasn't what we intended, I took him to California for the listeners out there. I took you, who else went? Kevin. Kevin and Donnie. And Donnie. We all, I, I, I enticed you with the trip to California to the California FFA State Convention. And the thing that was not fun about it was it was a 24-hour <laughs> drive one way. <laughs> It was a really difficult booth for two days, like just really busy. Yeah. And then 24 hours back. Um, <clears throat> and I was like, on the way back, we're going to stop at Cowboy Cerrone's because Cowboy and I had texted and I was going to stop in and fight him. So on the way back, I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> Turns out he got scared. He didn't want to fight me. Right. So we're driving through New Mexico and I'm like, all right, we'll be there. Like I said, and he was like, man, I'm in Vegas. He literally said... Since you and I were going to fight, I'm, I'm out here training. I saw the text. Yeah. He said it. So <laughs> Carson, Donnie, Kevin got roped into this <laughs> right, trip to meet Cowboy so at the end of it. Yeah. And then they didn't get to meet. We got to see California. <laughs> yeah. Still working. Was, yeah. yeah. And we so, got a, uh, we stayed at Lefties. Lefty. I got to meet all those guys. Sellers. Yeah. pretty cool. Dawson Hay. Yeah. Yeah, we stayed there. That was pretty neat. Yeah. Um. What else? We had some good food. It was a good trip. It was a good time. Yeah, it was fun. We broke up the drive. We didn't drive 24 hours straight through. Um, you got to see my Nana. Yeah. We went to Fuzzy's in Amarillo always, with my Nana. Always yeah. great to see Nana. <laughs> yeah. It's always great to see Nana. 100% <laughs> worth it. Yeah. And then we... Um, what? <clears throat> so anyways, whatever. So then I was like, all right, Cotton Fest. I'm going to make it up to you. You get to go to Cotton Fest. <laughs> you just keep roping them into more. <laughs> <laughs> and then the first day of Cotton Fest, like Friday... The wind was gusts up to 50 miles yeah. an hour. <laughs> and, like, nobody's there all and day. And it's That's super awesome. dry. So sand blowing into the booth at around 35 or 40 miles an hour. Oh, that is too great. 
That's awesome. So, and I'm like, man, this is not me making it up to him. Then you miss for him in the goat roping. Then I miss. Well, then he gets to hang out with Leroy and Serato till five in the morning. That was pretty cool. And then Saturday, the weather was great, and it was a great show. And yeah. everybody showed up. Packed house. Yeah. Really good. I mean, it was good. Booth. Saturday is what Cotton Fest was supposed to be about. Yeah. So yeah. Um, that was great. But it just, I feel like it, it, it wasn't everything that's, so, I don't know. I mean, you do you. I I would like to go to that E day. I, would... I only got so many names I can put on. I the know. List. I know. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, the, here's the thing though. We would. I got to be there Friday. I mean Thursday. I do a I do a podcast with them on Thursday. So I I got to leave like Thursday at lunch. All right. How many days do you need to hunt? Hopefully just one. You I better make leave this today. Work. You if better leave today. today. If I left tonight. <laughs> yeah, if you, you left would, as soon as this podcast was over. If you left tonight, and then you'd have to be back by by Thursday, by like 10, 30, or 11, Thursday. I can make this work. Like, you might have to cut the podcast short. Like to make it work. I, re- I really think so. <laughs> I think you get on your way. No, it's 2.45. Th- <laughs> well, I can't hunt till the morning anyways. Uh, you yeah. can only hunt till 1 in Missouri. Yeah. How, how long of a drive is it? 10. Hours. Yeah, yeah so you'd you, get you'd get home at you'd get there. Well, well, there's a time change, I guess. So you could totally do it tonight. Are you joking? To. I don't. I don't go to Missouri. Your mom comes to me. I don't drive over there. I don't <laughs> think he's joking. I don't think he's joking, <laughs> bud. No, I there's think, no time change. I think oh, okay. you can. Well, it's yeah. okay. It might be Kansas City, Missouri, is the time change then, like the edge no, of Kansas it. City's on this side, dog. <laughs> okay, I don't. I don't it's like right it? above us. Almost. Obviously, you don't know <laughs> geology. You know what? You can't go home anymore. <laughs> yeah, I don't you know. Argue with me. You. <laughs> we'll figure out your game plan for driving yeah. after the podcast. <laughs> what's fu- What's going to be funny and is then if we're going to fight. If I do this, and then you're like, "Oh man, didn't have enough names on the list. You you're still can't the, come. <laughs> you're going to miss the scavenger hunt too. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, if you play your cards right, you could. So you could hunt tomorrow morning. You could hunt Wednesday morning. Yeah. Be back. The weather is supposed to be better in the middle of the week too. You're welcome. Plus, if what a I, good boss! If I just shoot them off the roost at nighttime, then I'm good. <laughs> I'm very smart. Yeah, online. I'm just kidding. I would never do that. You did yeah. it once. You you don't you don't jump tanks either when you're duck hunting, <laughs> do you? No, no, of course not. No. I don't. Nor have, nor do I shoot deer from the roost. <laughs> I don't have two redheads mounted that I got from jumping a tank. Yeah. <laughs> course not <laughs> go get them don't look at do not look at my freezer though <laughs> wow hunting um anyway Game warden shows up to the flea market yeah it's so just me. <laughs> because speaking she left. of speaking of hunting speaking of rednecks e-harmony could not have teamed up three rednecks better than dale brisby with carson sanders willie wardle and kevin wayne uh, no you're absolutely right I don't that really is. feel like I'm that much of a redneck. Yeah, you are. Have, Dude, you worked at a chicken farm. Have the people oh. seen the video you made to that's, send in? So, okay, in <laughs> my <laughs> defense, <laughs> hey, in my defense, that's what I'm basing it on. You're holding a chicken. You got on coveralls. Hey, like I'm a, talking that like was a, that was a uniform. I'm talking like Dickies coveralls, <laughs> rubber boots <laughs> tucked into Dickies. your rubber boots. You know what we call those? Louisiana house slippers. That, that's, right. that's right. So just think that's of right. me. That's right. So think of me out here. I had a Bass Pro Shops in West too. Texas, you know, and I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. you, you get what I'm saying? No, I, I get it. I get it. I think now you're you're way more a cowboy than you are a redneck. I'm civilized. But where I was going with that was that you know a lot about deer hunting. I've actually never. That's because of my friend Stephen. He's really good at deer hunting. I've actually never shot. I've gone Would deer hunting a lot. you say Steven's a redneck? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you learned yeah. from a redneck. <laughs> Carson's met <laughs> Steven. <laughs> He's but like super cool. Heck out of that One dude. of the coolest dudes I know. Yeah, he was the, really cool. The point is, I put y'all in charge of the whitetail deer hunting and pig hunting on uh, Wacamole Camp. So, yeah. That's, that's right. That's right. Hopefully I can get a deer. I've, I've spent a lot of time out in the woods and in a stand, but... You can get your first I've, deer in Texas. I have missed a lot. It's pretty embarrassing. I don't know what happens. I got Dude. pretty good aim too, but I just can't get a deer. I bet I could talk to. I bet I could talk to. I mean, you might get turkey hunt here. Really? Dang! When's you're season making his day over. 
In Missouri or here? Here. I don't know. I'd have Man, to Man, it started, I think. Uh, I was going to say, you've been looking this stuff to, up. It started, it opened the beginning of last week, I think. Are you a postal, like, do you do you have to get, like, painted up and wear camo or? I wear camo. <laughs> well, it's a lot, it's a lot. You mean go hunting, Dale? It's a lot different in Missouri. about, like, driving around in the pickup. <laughs> well, like, down here. Can we drive around in the pickup? Down here, they're not as pressured. You can bait them and. Like, they're just easier to hunt. But back home, they're super pressured. You can't bait or anything. You can only hunt in the mornings. Yeah. I've seen those guys, like, with the shields. Or they just got... Reaping just, them? Yeah. Yeah, reaping them. yeah, it's awesome. That's Is that that's legal where you're at, too? Yeah. No. It's not... I'm not talking about doing anything at, illegal. I'm not talking about right. like shooting them from the road. <laughs> no, yeah. Oh. I'm just talking about, like, <laughs> if we were to, like, wait, like, chilling in a truck or something on private property, and then you kind of wait for them to shoot... Or do you have to be like in the zone, like that commando? Would, that would kind like, of take it away. It ends this week. Like, take the thrill out of it. It for ends me. this week. Like, like, oh yeah, May second. Well, we're it's it's breaks it into two zones, north and south. We'd, We'd be, be north. north. Zone, so probably. we yeah, that's you what have till May. Say. You have till May sixteenth, and it's a Rio Grande. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Grande, huh? I don't know what the kind of turkeys are. Are there Rios here. this far north? That's what they have down here. The and extent, then they have eastern. Dude, easterns are what we have back home. The extent of my turkey it. hunting is like East sometimes Texas. horseback. I might go, <laughs> <laughs> and if they call back, then I feel like as I've, I've, I've never, I, I've, I've never I totally could have killed that turkey. turkey. <laughs> we should all try a turkey gobble right now. I've never we gone turkey hunting. I want to try. I'm, that, what I, what you just got from me is my best one. Willie, let's hear it. All right, Cole. Huh? Do it. Do a turkey gobble. Do a turkey gobble. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, not I don't a know. gobble. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> gobble. Yeah. Cole, um, don't forget. Hey, was that good? To turn the volume down on these <laughs> yeah. for, gotcha. for our listeners. <laughs> um, we're going to find out a, a game plan for this weekend. <laughs> yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll do some talking right after this. <clears throat> I've been coming down there enough. I think they might give me like a little extended list of like, hey, look, I got some diehard redneck fans of yours. Kevin's not going to be here, though. Kevin won't. He won't be back till Sunday. Are you Speaking going with that? Tell, tell him about our. We should tell him about our. Do we have time to tell him one more story? Yeah, I guess. About the Civic and how sketchy that was. Oh, I thought I yeah, was. Yeah, we got a week. I was scared. Out. Yeah, I was at Lisa's last night, <laughs> and his and car's in the back. I went to the bathroom, and uh, I was sitting on the throne like the king I am. Naturally, looked like, out the window. I was like. What the heck is that gold car? Because Lisa is known for having like (laughs) some lemons back there. (laughs) Like, there's two other cars back there that don't run. I was like, where did this literally, literally, Lisa, where did that third car come from back there? And I'm not talking like those are two that are everyday drivers. She's got a couple cars in the front that they drive, you know, that are really nice cars. And the two in the back are nice, but there's a third junker back there. I was like, what? What's that gold looking? She's like, oh, that's Kevin's. I was like, what the heck? It doesn't have brakes anymore either. Yeah. Blown, head, blown head gasket and no brakes. No brakes thanks to me. Head gasket Why? thanks to Kev. So In the world did he sell his truck? I don't Because of gas. He I didn't think, want to pay that anymore. He's like, I don't need this truck Well, that's his here. problem. He was putting gas in it. Or it's a diesel. diesel. It's a diesel. diesel. Yeah. I think he was. <laughs> you know what I meant? You know what I meant? calls himself a yeah. mechanic. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was a diesel no, mechanic. Yeah. Yeah. He was putting Certified gas in Certified by Ford. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, uh, yeah, so he sold his truck. He got, uh, what'd y'all call it? The, the spaceship. The spaceship. Um, <laughs> hey, if, Rest he in thinks, peace. if he thinks he's borrowing the deluxe, he can think again. That's my truck. That's right. Just That's right. the, just the deluxe? Down. You mean the crapper? Yeah. Hey, now. Where's <laughs> <What>? your car? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Hey, That's now. Just bringing it down next month. Unless Lane buys it. Look here, Enterprise rent a car. I don't want to be hearing <laughs> it from you, all right? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Cole's that thing- been back home twice now, says he's going to bring his car down. That's why we all joke about Cole leaving. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. He goes home for a couple days. Two weeks later, he finally <laughs> when, comes when back. When Cole leaves, we worry that he's ever coming back. <laughs> and then yeah. you try to give other people a hard time for taking off. First of all, I'm going to give people a hard time no matter what. That's true. You try giving yeah. me a hard time. Like, I think I took off to go home, Carson and I, and you gave me a hard time. I was like, Cole, you were here for two weeks and then went home. For two weeks. For yeah. another two weeks. <laughs> at one point, when you were at Belize, you were here for three months. And that was two weeks you were gone for that. And then two weeks for Christmas. And Don and I are like, 
Seventy-five percent of the time he's here. The other twenty-five percent is on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I love you, Cole. He's I just, got, I just got a cool boss. Awesome. Anyways, cool I have boss. a really cool boss. Yeah, dude, we do have. A cool I did. Boss. Who's your boss? I can't. What's that? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm his boss, yeah. not the horse. Um, I did though. Check. I was like, I'm just gonna walk in here. I went into the bunkhouse. Oh, okay, his stuff's still here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dude, we were getting nervous. We were getting nervous. <laughs> Surely. Because left there's it. been two interns they that Leroy was like, if you don't plan on coming back, take your stuff with you, please. <laughs> I do not. We're not going to mail it. Yeah. And lo and behold, he was right. Both of them didn't come I, back. I had thought I didn't, wasn't, I was in no way planning on leaving during you that last about one. It? No, but I was thinking how funny it would be because my brother would have been down here <laughs> like, my brother came down here like, you know, yeah. before I oh, got yeah. back, and it would have been funny to just not. Hey, Lane, grab all that stuff in the bunkhouse, and just like throw it in the back. That would have been funny. Grab some extra t-shirts on your way out. Talk about an Irish goodbye. So, yeah. anyways, so Kevin, the, the Kevin's car breaks down. Yeah, in Grain Grainberry. Is that how to pronounce Granberry. it? Granberry. Granberry, which is Grayford. So Grayford is like ten miles away. No, it's Granberry not is like an Gran, hour. It's away. Granberry. Okay, it was an hour away. Yeah, my bad. and. That's what I thought. This is my story. You weren't there. All right. <laughs> he was there. <laughs> he. We get a call. We were actually about to go to Walmart to go get groceries, so like Hot Pockets, Uncrustables, basic necessities. We were in Graham. We were in Graham, and he's like, hey, can you guys uh go get my brother's truck? Really cool truck, too. It's a second gen. Come, in, come on. We took come that. On. Come on. So I got to drive that, so it was actually pretty fun driving that, and we drove it to Greenberry. And we had a Dollar General parking lot. Yeah. And the spaceship is just smoking, blown head gasket, and he had to go get a bunch of stuff. Okay, so. <laughs> All right. I, for a minute, when he said blown head gasket, I thought I meant, like, the cap for the radiator thing, because that happened on my truck. <laughs> you know, the gasket. Yeah. So that happened on my truck. The cap blew off, and I lost all my antifreeze and everything, just because that's what happens. So for whatever reason, I thought that's what he was talking about. I was like, why don't you just go get it replaced? And he's like, the head gasket? Oh, yeah, I'll just go replace the head gasket. And I was like... I'm sorry, man. I got to get mixed yeah, up with two other things. That's what I said, Kevin. You, don't, you, didn't, you didn't take the, everything off yet and just replace the engine there? But, yeah, then we had to go and drive it back and it overheat yeah. every, like, two or three minutes. We thought, overheat. we thought we could just limp it back home because that's kind of how Kevin made it out. Yeah. And he was like, man, I don't care. Blow this thing up. Just like, take, get just, it back. I don't care if you overheat. And I was like, no, we're not going to do that. Because <laughs> so, he was mad at it. He yeah. was mad at it. Like, this is the spaceship. So, so we get probably... 20 minutes away. Yeah, we were 18 miles away from Graham. There, you know where that um that old abandoned it's like Creekside barbecue or something like that? And there's yeah. like that tax yeah, right that We were in that off. parking lot right there. Jordan comes and brings his truck, meets us there. She came in super clutch and helped us out. And we chained the Civic to the back of his truck and drove the last 18 miles <laughs> up and down those hills. And I've never done that before. Carson's like, just make sure like you... Don't make sure there's no slack, or there's a little bit of slack, yeah. but not enough that you're going back and forth. The guy in the back runs the brakes. Yeah. Yeah. But you didn't have any brakes. And he had never done it, and we're going, you know those hills through there. <laughs> that's what that's what did away with the brakes. Uh, yeah. Gotcha. That's what did no, away with the brakes. It had brakes before. Right. Yeah, before, exactly. Yeah. So you running the brakes, stopping the strike was, in front of you is what lost, which, I mean, that's what you There's nothing else yeah. we could do, but yeah, that like we're going up and down these hills, because at first I had, I barely had to touch the brakes, just feathering it. And then, like, we start going up and down these hills. So I yeah. start picking up more momentum because, and then it starts getting closer. Did and you ever hit that. it? No, I no. never hit his car. I I kept that chain pretty much. He did there. a good job. I just it had to ride just... on. I just had to ride on the brakes because we're going up and down them hills. So, I was sketched out. Why didn't you just leave it? Because it's Kev's car. We didn't want to leave it just out there and make that his responsibility. We had nothing else to do. We were feeling adventurous, so we just said send it. Um, man, I know Kev's a mechanic and all, but like. <laughs> I could just look at that car and yeah. tell you that some buck ain't making it back to Tennessee. Oh, you could hear it. Yeah. He you could, if you were at the warehouse, you could hear him all the way to the ranch. Well, he knew <laughs> it, too. He was like, hope this thing's got one more trip to Tennessee. <laughs> I was yeah. like, man, the van's got a better chance of making it to Tennessee and back. What There's, they should have done is taken that scooter. Yeah. His brother has this little moped thing that he drives around town. Dumb and dumber style. Dude, it's we look like a bunch of cartoon characters living in that house. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> but that was our story i was yeah. nervous i was like 10 and 2 like just focusing on that chain because all i could see is like that chain snapping <laughs> coming through the windshield or just something sketchy happening i could see him in the rear view the whole time just like 
You would not terrified. have been sketched out. Oh no, like it's I was freaking Irish. nervous. And the first time I had to do it was with my dad. So he's like yelling at me and everything. <laughs> and I was just you know how dads are. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I know. You know then I they're not going to be doing that part. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, my, I was my old that day. my old dad, the one that helped raise you. Yeah, the one that I was on to the next one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See <laughs> when you're grown up. So much alike. <laughs> I get your facial hair. Yeah. Call me when you're 22 and want to work for me. <laughs> but you ain't getting no free rides. <laughs> Matter of fact, the guys that work for me may not even want to hire you. <laughs> That's right. Dale's That's own right. son. That's all right. <laughs> Listen here, son. You were my second choice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. We lost that camera. Oh. Hey, it's probably been dead for a while. Hey, y'all. We'll get it changed before we do the intro. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so... Life advice. Y'all got any? Go ahead, Willie. Cole, I think you should go first. Man, I don't know. Oh. Man, if you can... Well, I guess it actually goes in well with pretty much all of... Like, Dale was talking a lot about the great boss he's been, you know. Uh, <laughs> you don't really have to make people stay, but you'd, you'd like to make it a place where they would want to stay, right? And I don't know, working with them Colts, you always want to make... You always want to make the right thing their idea. You know, make it make the wrong stuff hard, make the right stuff easy. That's not my quote, but you know, it's good advice, good thing to think about, I guess. Heck yeah. What do you got? I don't know. It's kind of life advice, but I really appreciate like Cole helps me out a lot. You help me out a lot. When I'm learning something, some people aren't as yeah. patient as you guys are. And that's really, I really appreciate that. Cool. As a, learner yeah but just being patient as a teacher i think is huge you're such a kiss up <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm just kidding what do you got um i guess life advice i don't know this is something i'm working on personally i know recently with bull riding in particular but just anything just staying positive and staying just having fun because you start getting worked up and like frustrated at yourself it's not going to help we watch that Casey Fields documentary and just his mentality of always being freaking what's the word I want to say resilient I guess would be a mm -hmm. good word to describe him and just always being happy in the end of the day God loves you live in the US of A and I work for Dale Brisby I mean probably have a better life than 99% of people in this country in a country where like just everyone already in this country is already way better than the rest of the world and then of that country yep. I'm in like the top 99% like yeah i shouldn't be having any bad days or beating myself up that's just being selfish and that ain't it i agree yeah i uh I, we talk about i've talked about this i know once or twice on podcast but i've been alternating like a military book christian book military book christian book and i don't know if it's just here lately or maybe i'm just seeing it because i'm looking for it now but like whether they're talking about in training or actually in war or scriptures, but like life is just full of like suffering, you know, life is full of, I mean, we can, yes, we, we need to be positive and we need to not, but if like, if you look at like, if you're, if, let's be completely realistic, like no matter what, even you, Willie, as being like <sighs> in the, the situation you're in, which is a great perspective you will still experience a lot of suffering. Oh, heck yeah. Life's you know not going mean? to be perfect. Like, you're going to lose somebody. You're going to lose, you know, family members or whatever. Eventually, mm -hmm. everybody. Like, there's going to be suffering. And um, <clears throat> and so that's something I've been thinking a lot about. And, like, and I just want to establish that. That's kind of the end of that morbid point, mm -hmm. you know. But, like, no matter who or where you are in life or what country you're in, you know, but, but trials can refine your faith and, um, whether it's money problems, whether it's relationship problems, um, you're trying to find your purpose in life, um, uh, or it's somebody not in this country and they have like, compared to what we have, they might have like real problems. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like you're going to experience that suffering, but I, in, in service, Marcus Luttrell's second book, he was quoting Alexander Dumas. Did we lose another camera? We did. Hey, we lost a battery right here, too. In, in his book, Service. Um, Dumas. 
Dumont. Yeah, it just that sounds weird. What I like Where's Dumas. Dumas Walker. Yeah. It's not Especially the town. Like it's just Dumas. It's not what it's been. Anyhow. Well then put an H at the end of it. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. He's you know French. What I'm it's French. I'm I know. Oh, he's trying to see his oh, life okay. advice. We were quiet for you. You're so sophisticated, Cole. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> but it's like you know, spell it. If you want me to pronounce it humble, don't put the H on there. Because I'm gonna say humble. Facts. Facts. Teague, T E A G U E, down Teague, Texas. The, no, it's Tig. Okay, well then spell it T I G because I didn't play Little League. That's right. Baseball. Let them know. Yeah. You know Let what I'm saying? Know. Yeah. Let them know. It's Alexander Dumas. That's right. You want me to say Dumas? Then just put A H at the end. Dumas. Okay. <laughs> anyway, Alexander Alexander Dumas. He who has felt he who has felt the the deepest grief is able to experience extreme happiness. So, anyhow, through all that suffering, suffering builds character. But, um, and if you're a Christian, then you know you're going to live forever. That's another thing. That's right. Reading. Like, That's it's right. Like everything in this life is preparing you to live forever. You know, 80, 90 years is not that long. You know what I mean? Compared to an eternity. Compared to eternity. Like, and that's, that's something that, like, I really, I've thought about in mere Christianity, the way he talks about, C.S. Lewis talks about um, eternity. It, it kind of changed my perspective because I've always thought about it as, like, this life ending, and then it's like you, you start over. Mm-hmm. But you don't necessarily start over. You just keep on living. And it gave me a different perspective on, like, what I do on earth and, like, how much it does matter in eternity, you know. Anyhow. Didn't and, you say that was Marcus Luttrell's outlook on it when he was yeah. in the service? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, him too. Yeah. yeah. He's going to continue living. You live, you continue yeah. as a Christian, as, as a, as a follower of Christ, you, you, you continue living. So anyways, I highly encourage you guys to read Marcus Luttrell's book, but also, um, C.S. Lewis, the, uh, mere Christianity. So that's my life advice. Have you ever had anybody who like gave some genuinely bad, bad life <laughs> advice at the end of a podcast, but they were like dead serious? <laughs> Don't take chances. Stay safe. Stay safe. <laughs> Never stop stopping. No, I haven't yet. We've only done that. about 92 or three of these. Yeah. So there's a lot of people. I mean, like, Joe no, we're done closer like to 100. 1,800, 1,900 yeah. podcasts. Yeah. So, like, he, I'm sure he's had a few. But, yeah, I don't, I don't know that I've had enough of those. I'm going to work on one. You know what I mean? But just but somebody say it, like, but I'm going to just say it straight. Like, iron sharpens iron. Iron sharpens iron, but the pencil writes in lead. <laughs> the water's a mile high in Idaho. <laughs> the water's a mile high in Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> and never stop stopping. The mail never stops. Yeah. This Won't stop awful. a bullet. <laughs> hey, hey. Willie, you are always saying that. Though. I always say that. Just can't Gosh, stop that a was bullet. the dumbest thing I've ever heard when you said that. Dude, I swear. You said it in the You're kitchen. the only person. You're the only person that claims that. We were, it was, um, this, this is going to be the longest podcast Chet's. ever. We were, it was that, no. whenever you guys were gathering them yearlings at Chet's. I don't know why I came. I think there wasn't enough horses, but I was Everybody bored. Came. So I just came and just hung out the whole time. Yeah. And he's like, rolls down the window. He's like, Willie, what's that one thing you say all the time? And Kevin looks at me immediately knowing that like something outlandish is about to be said. <laughs> and like, I'm waiting for him to say something that I actually say all the time. And he's like, it's like, can't stop a bullet or something like that. And instantly Kevin are just like, what? <laughs> I've what never said that. Kevin, yeah, I, st- Kevin, I specifically remember you saying it like three times that week. Dude. You have no idea what you're talking about. I don't know what you were breathing in or inhaling back at the flea market, but you're on some. I Willie, never said that. Willie Sticky Rodeo Rosin. Can't stop can't a bullet. Can't stop a bullet. <laughs> American tradition. You're welcome. Who wants to see the Willie Sticky girl? <laughs> we hey, dude, that is that. a real thing. That's a terrible. That's terrible. Hey, it's, it's, a kid's, it's a kid's show, so that, it's going to be appropriate. For Willie Sticky Rodeo Rosin apparel, check out DaleBrisby.com. That's right. We don't have this, the rosin in yet, but it's on its way. We're it's working on it. DaleBrisby.com. If you're interested in deals that we occasionally have, text me um, special offer to the word special offer. Text that to 940-353-0890. Or text me the word podcast, and I'll update you when these are live. If you've, if you've listened to this long, then you should text me podcast, 940-353-0890. Yeah. That way I can let you know when stuff happens. And... um so, we're on to the next one. Let me see if I can. Yep. Yeah. All right, guys. That's right. 
Great job. Got it right the first time. <laughs> we got to figure out your uh, schedule. Yep. Love you guys. Thank you for listening. Tune in next week. I feel so good right now. Dude, I love this tune. <laughs> <laughs> you happy little Carson? Yeah. yeah.